If you're experiencing stutters, clicks, or pops when you try to play back your Sibelius score, it can be for a variety of reasons. The wrong audio driver is selected in Sibelius, the buffer size option is set too low, or the computer doesn't have enough RAM. We'll go through variables one by one so that you can troubleshoot for yourself. On Windows, the first thing you'll want to check is which driver Sibelius is using for playback. To view details of which audio driver Sibelius is currently using, select the Play tab above the ribbon. Towards the left, you'll see the Setup section. Click the small arrow to open the Playback Devices dialog box. Now click Audio Engine Options. Click on the drop down menu next to Interface to view your available options. On Windows, some options may appear more than once, each with a different set of letters at the end in parentheses. The letters in the parentheses indicate the various drivers that are available on the computer for that particular sound card or audio interface. A driver is the software that allows your computer to communicate with your sound card or audio interface. Some drivers work better than others, and on a Windows computer, drivers should be chosen in this priority. ASIO, or commonly referred to as ASIO, these drivers are your best option and generally provide the lowest latency. WAS API. This option will generally provide low latency, but it also puts more strain on your computer. DS. This is a common option and works well in most situations. MME. This option generally provides the worst performance and should be avoided if possible. If the only option available is MME, it's a good idea to check your sound card or audio interface manufacturer's website to see if updated drivers are available. If pops, clicks, etc. continue after changing your audio driver, the next step is to adjust your buffer size. The higher the buffer size, the more time the computer has to process the sounds it's trying to play back. The trade-off is, the higher the buffer size, the higher the latency. Latency is the amount of time it takes between clicking on a note or playing a note on your MIDI keyboard and hearing the note from your speakers. Another reason for pops and clicks can be a lack of RAM or a slow hard drive. It's recommended that a computer trying to use the Sibelius Sounds library have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and that the samples be loaded onto a fast hard drive of at least 7200 RPM. If making these adjustments hasn't fixed the problem, try changing the playback configuration from Sibelius 7 Sounds to Sibelius 7 Sounds Lite. This uses a set of good quality samples that require less computer resources to playback properly. The playback configuration can be changed in the Setup section of the Playback tab. Click on Configuration and select Sibelius 7 Sounds Lite from the list. For more troubleshooting articles and information, visit sibelius.com forward slash support.